Hey everybody, this is Lucas here, and today guys, I'm going to be counting down my top 5 worst Spongebob episodes. Like last time I did a countdown on my, on my favorite Spongebob episodes, but this time I'm going to do a countdown on my least favorite Spongebob episodes. So let's get started. <clears throat> Anyways, alright, so my number 5. I know most of you will be pretty shocked, but this episode is my, is my, probably has to be my least favorite classic episode of Spongebob. And that episode is Squeaky Boots. I'll tell you why I don't like it in a minute. Anyway, so the episode pretty much starts off with, uh, Mr. Krabs giving Pearl Squeaky Boots instead of the other shoes that Pearl wants. I guess it's some sort of, like, flipper shoes? I don't even know. I haven't watched the episode in a while. Anyways. <clears throat> so then Pearl gets upset. And, like, like, and Mr. Krabs was getting upset because he didn't know who he was going to sell the sh boots to. So then Spongebob comes in. And he, like, decided, Mr. Krabs decided to give Spongebob the boots. And he is one of the reasons why I don't like this episode. Because of the shoes being so squeaky. And, and it was annoying Mr. Krabs to death. Even me. And this is the episode where I start to like Mr. Krabs in this episode. Well, Mr. Krabs was really great in this episode. Like, like while Spongebob was sleeping, he decided to, like, take the boots to the Krusty Krab and, to, and hit it under the floorboards. And, and then, the next day of the Krusty Krab, Spongebob was really upset because he lost the boots, even though Mr. Krabs took them because he just wants the squeaking to stop. <coughs> even me. But... Then a customer came, comes up to him to, like, get his order. But then Mr. Krabs started to hear the squeaking coming out that guy's mouth. But then Spongebob started doing the thing, too. Then Mr. Krabs starts to get a little paranoid. At first, I thought, at first he thought he heard the squeaking noise. Then he, then he told everyone that he hid the squeaky boots under the floorboards. And then he just goes into the kitchen and just boils it and eats it. Good job, Mr. Krabs. Thank you for making the monstrosity boots stop. Yeah, this is the episode where I start to like Mr. Krabs. Just because of him being annoyed by the squeaky boots. Gee, now you know how I feel, Mr. Krabs. Anyways. Then Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob that he didn't need the boots just because it was so freaking annoying. Okay. Now, now I want you to be reason why I don't like this episode. The reason why I don't like this episode, like I said before, because of the squeaky boots being so annoying. Oh my gosh. Can't even stop thinking about those boots. Anyways, let's just move on to my next episode before I start going crazy. Anyways, on to my number four. Alright, so my number four, at least for the Spongebob episode, probably has to be... Hmm... Probably... Stuck in the Vinga. Like... Now... Like, I'll go into why I hate this episode after I tell you the plot. Alright, so the episode starts off with Spongebob taking a shower. Then suddenly he drops the soap. Then he almost slips on it. But suddenly... 
a Bubba Ducky comes up, which turns out to be Patrick's Bubba Ducky. Then he suddenly slips on the soap and gets stuck in the ringer. And then Patrick comes in to get his Bubba Ducky. And SpongeBob asks Patrick if he can get him stuck in the ringer. But Sponge, I mean Patrick, decides to make it worse by making him even more stuck in the ringer. Why, Patrick? Why does he have to make such a dumb decision that to make SpongeBob even more stuck, even though he wants him out of the freaking ringer? This is when I start to hate Patrick in this episode. Why? Why, Patrick? Why do you have to make such a dumb decision? But then to make SpongeBob even more stuck in the video. Now on. Anyways, about about the plot. But SpongeBob doesn't even know how he's gonna get to work while he's stuck in his ringer. Why did I like call Mr. Krabs a lady stuck in the ringer? But why not ask Patrick that he's not even gonna come to work today because he's stuck in the ringer thanks to Patrick making a dumb decision by making him even more stuck in the ringer. Anyways, then Spongebob, then, then Patrick just like, gets the video out, and then he starts to go to work. Then Squid starts making fun of Spongebob, but suddenly Spongebob accidentally squid squid in the eyes with mustard. Then the eyes start, then Squid's eyes start getting on his Krabby Patty. I'm a crab pie sponge on the main bit. Oh, that's so disgusting! Who wants a Krabby Patty that has Squidward eyeballs in it? Not me! Anyways. Then SpongeBob goes up to Squidward and to make sure he's okay, then Squidward says, please get away from me. Then Then Spongebob causes chaos in the Krusty Krab, but then Spongebob accidentally releases Mr. Krab's money out of the cash register, but... Then everyone just starts taking the money, and then Mr. Krab gets mad that Spongebob for, making, for releasing the money out of his cash register, then... Then Mr. Krabs throws him out, then Patrick says, How was your day? And then, and then Spongebob is like, Good, but bad thanks to you! Make him even more stuck in the manga! Then Patrick takes Spongebob to get ice cream, but then, Sponge, then Spongebob eats the ice cream, then... Then starts getting stuck to his stomach. It's a Patrick's dumb decision, making him even more stuck in the finger. Anyways, then Patrick takes Spongebob to the carnival. And that's... And here's when I start to like Spongebob more. Patrick starts... to be even more of a joke to Spongebob. Making him get... injuries. Good job, Patrick. Thanks for being such a douchebag to Spongebob. What kind of fan are you anyway? Oh yeah. A BAD ONE! Anyways... Then Spongebob starts getting mad at Patrick. Then... Patrick starts running away... to his house. Then, then Patrick was starts getting his mind off SpongeBob, but he couldn't. 
So he goes into SpongeBob ha SpongeBob's house just to see how he's doing. Then we see SpongeBob in front of his TV, watching absolutely nothing. Then Patrick starts apologizing to SpongeBob, but suddenly, this is probably one of the most stupidest endings in SpongeBob history. Patrick, Patrick's tears suddenly melts to glue and Sponge, which accidentally releases SpongeBob out of the ringer. Then, then SpongeBob said, "I guess crying solves his problems after all." Then he starts crying even more. SpongeBob gets out of the ringer, but suddenly Patrick and SpongeBob get stuck in the ringer. Yeah, now to why I hate this episode. Because of Patrick being such a jerk! Alright, I think... I think let's move on to my number three. My number three... Probably has to be... The Splinter. I know three probably has to be the splinter. Yeah, you probably know knew this was going to be on the list. So, story start starts off with SpongeBob going to work as as usual. Then SpongeBob like starts get, getting his things ready for work, but suddenly a spatula gets stuck in the ceiling. So SpongeBob like tries to stack a bunch of things to get the just to get the spatula out of the ceiling. But but when he gets the spatula off the ceiling This part is probably one of the most grossest parts in SpongeBob history. When SpongeBob like SpongeBob slips on the tartar sauce and gets a splinter. This is probably one of the most grossest scenes in SpongeBob history. Even the close up. Oh, the close up is getting split. This is just so disgusting. It's just so disgusting. Anyway, Spon then SpongeBob tries to get the splinter off. So, since he couldn't get it off, SpongeBob decides. He finished off, finished off his day at work with a splinter on his finger. I mean, I mean his thumb. Then Squidward comes in and realizes that he has a splinter. Then Squidward tells SpongeBob that if he, since he has a splinter, he has to get home early. But SpongeBob doesn't want that to happen. So he calls Patrick. Why not call a real doctor instead of calling your dumb best friend? So Patrick, like, starts to help SpongeBob, but suddenly he starts eating his foot for some reason. So Patrick decides to make it worse. But to put garbage on his splinter. Why? Why did you have to do that? Why did you put? Why do you have to put garbage on his splinter? Why not just yank it out of his finger? I mean, dumb. That. Uh, oh, whatever. Whatever. So SpongeBob is pretty much had it. So he goes to the custard crab, but suddenly Squid Mr. Krabs finds out about his splinter. But he starts hiding it just because he doesn't want to go home early. But suddenly he reveals the splinter and suddenly it was filled with garbage. No 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 no, it wasn't filled with garbage. It was like one like one of like the biggest splinters ever. 
like the biggest case of the splinter. Sorry about that, this meme was made for a second. So Mr. Krabs just puts it out like it was nothing. And then Mr. Krabs tells Squidward that he can get paid while he's at home. Then he starts hitting himself with a cash register. I guess he was excited or mad, I guess? I don't know. And that's when the episode ends. Now on to why I hate this episode. Because of it being really gross. Because because of it being one of the most grossest episodes in SpongeBob history. Like due to Sponge of uh, the close up of SpongeBob getting a splinter to SpongeBob showing the splinter to Mr. Krabs, which turns out to be a really big bulge. Thanks to Patrick being a man by putting garbage on a splinter. Alright, so now on to my number two. Number two. Hmm. Ah. The number two probably has to be... Cephalopod Lodge. Wait, no, 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 no. So, not Cephalopod Lodge. Hmm. Number two happens to be... No, 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 that's not it. Hmm. There's like so many episodes, I can't think of any one that's really bad. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go with a pal for Gary. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. I think my number two probably has to be treats. So the episode pretty much starts off with. Spongebob seen a commercial on TV while he was at work called, with a new tweet called Snail Bites. So Spongebob goes home to, like Spongebob like gets the snail bites and comes home just to show Gary. But then Gary starts liking the snail bites and suddenly he starts doing really really awesome tricks just to get snail bite but then when they run out this is when this episode starts to get really annoying like when they run out of snail bites Gary just starts meowing away just because he wants a freaking snail bite And it starts annoying the Spongebob to death. But then, Gary just wants to go to the pet store in the middle of the night. Just to get a snail bite. But, in the morning, but the next day, like around when the pet shop opens, Spongebob and Gary ask the guy that owns the place, I guess, if he has a box of snail bites. But then the guy tells them that they were sold out. Then Gary starts going crazy. And SpongeBob ends up winning. Alright, so when they end up at their house, SpongeBob starts going to work. But then Gary, oh my god, Gary, starts going crazy. Because every time Spongebob gets the door, he's like, ah, ah, ah. So then Spongebob tricks Gary and says, there's snail bites in the kitchen. But then Spongebob starts running to work. But then when it cuts to Spongebob working, Gary then ends up at the Krusty Krab and starts meowing away in public. So then, so then Spongebob tells Gary that they were causing a scene, 
So, then, then the guy tells him to go to the factory w where they make them. But then the guy tells him that they ran out of ingredients and it was the last box was shipped out and they were running out of ingredients then Spongebob then Spongebob tells Gary like what do you want me to do? Travel the earth just as go to every pet store in existence just to see if they have a single box of snail bites then Gary agrees and then suddenly they just start going to every continent on earth and they haven't found a single box. And then it cuts to SpongeBob like freaking out and Spongy Yard and then Patrick comes in and he was like, Is you is you snail snail meowing? Then Patrick tells Spongebob, like, just say no. Like, if you want your pet to stop bowing, just say no. That there's no snail bites. Then Spongebob tells Gary no. Gary was fine with it. Why can't... Wait, so all... All Spongebob had to do was to say no just to get a snail to stop meowing. Why did you do it in the first place? Yeah, I got spin on the screen, sorry. Anyways. Now to on why I hate this episode. Because of Jerry meowing the entire episode. Now on to my worst SpongeBob episode. You're probably guessing. Is it gonna be a pal for Gary? No, it's not gonna be a pal for Gary. I know it's, I know it's kind of shocking, but my worst SpongeBob episode is funny pants. Now on to the story. The episode starts off with Spongebob waking up Squidward and, and a phrase starts making Spongebob laugh to death. And that phrase is another day another dollar. And starts making Spongebob laugh like crazy. Just a simple phrase starts making Spongebob laugh. So he starts telling it to everyone, but then Squidward tells Spongebob... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Yes? Right. Alright, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go now, so I will see you all. I will see you all on the rest of why I hate this ep uh, uh, the hate this episode, Funny Pants. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna see Pixels now, so prepare to see a review. Hope you all looking forward to see that. And I'll see you all for the rest of why I hate Funny Pants.